Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. What we're going to be looking at today here is how to install LibreOffice on Chrome OS Flex. It's pretty straightforward, I think, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, why would you want LibreOffice? Um, basically, if you don't like Google Docs or it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't support the kind of format you want, and um, then it's kind of going to be your best option probably on Chrome OS Flex. You have to have the Linux environment enabled, which you can easily do. I have a lot of videos on my channel about getting Linux working on Chrome OS Flex. And once you do have it working, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, Microsoft Office is probably going to be a no-go on Chrome OS or most Linux distributions, at least any recent version. So let's open our terminal, and I think what we're going to type is sudo apt install libre dash office that should be it I spell things right maybe there's no dash okay there's no dash and we're gonna go ahead and let that run probably it'll take a couple minutes so while that installs I'm gonna pause the video and then we're gonna come back all right I've returned and our installs done so we should be able to find it yeah here's all the icons in my recently installed apps but you can also find them down at the bottom under Linux apps and uh, so let's just go ahead and check out what we got here it comes with of course it puts LibreOffice in front of everyone so you can't see the names so it has writer which is like word uh, this is called impress which I guess is a PowerPoint draw I don't know if there's an office equivalent of this but it's for like you know, I never used Draw, but I think it's for making vector graphics, but of diagrams and stuff. Uh, there's Sheets, or Calc, and this is our database called Base. So, um, I've used LibreOffice quite a bit. It's actually uh, pretty good. Except there when it doesn't run. I've actually, I made a video about this the other day, but on the latest version of Chrome OS Flex 104, I've been having issues with Linux apps just crashing. I don't know what the deal is. I hope it'll be fixing an update, um, and it's probably partly due to the fact that I'm using the dev branch, so you can expect issues. But I've been having issues left and right. <clears throat> so I don't think it's LibreOffice related. It's been happening with everything. So here's Writer. Actually, the theming does not look all that pretty on Chrome OS, not gonna lie. But um yeah, it's a uh it's a competent word processor. It has all the features you'd need and um if all you need is just to make documents or even more advanced documents. I mean it's got it can do pretty much anything Word can. So there we have that. We have our uh sheets, which is their Excel knockoff. It's uh probably gonna be the other one that gets used the most. I know for me, at least, I use Excel a lot more than I use Word, so this is a pretty important one. Uh, I'm not going to go over a demo of how to use it, but if you know how to use Excel, you can use this. And I should have mentioned, like, Sheets will be able to open pretty much any Excel document. Maybe some of the macros don't work. That I haven't really tested. Uh, ever since I haven't had a corporate job, I haven't really done anything with macros in Excel. But um, I've never had problems opening a file. Same way with Writer. I've been able to open any Word file that I've ever had. No problem. And the other common one will probably be the uh, PowerPoint knockoff. And just like the other ones, uh, things you make on here, you can open in PowerPoint. Or things you make in PowerPoint, you can open here. So it's going to do all the things you need to do. And so, yeah. And then I'm not going to look at the other ones. Uh... I haven't used Access in ages. I don't know how many people still use Access. But, uh, so here we go. This is LibreOffice on Chrome OS Flex. Despite that crash there at the beginning, it actually runs pretty good. Um, and so go ahead and try it out. If you need an Office suite and you don't like Google Docs, this is a native one that you can install. Save files actually onto your Chrome OS Flex device. And, um, yeah. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you have a good day.